Hey everybody. So, this week I decided to do an unboxing of a new deck that I just purchased. Uh, it is the Romance Oracle deck, Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. So uh, these messages are definitely going to be general. Some of them may not apply to anyone because some people may not be thinking of love or, uh, you know, romance or anything like that. But some of them actually might apply. So it just depends on how you look at the message and you might even get a message for yourself in here, you know. So it may not always pertain to someone else. It may just have to do with the love that you have for yourself. So, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I thought that I would get another deck just to kind of give you guys a little bit something more special. And uh, we're gonna go through each sign just like I normally do. And uh, we'll see what they all say. Aries. Let's see what your card says. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, Aries. So this could possibly be, you know, um, your children. It could be someone else's children. Or it could be, you know, children that you might be involved with. Some of you might be, um, you know aunts, uncles, something like that. Some of you might have even, like, kept... You might be taking care of some people's children. So, uh, you know, just having them around and they them not really being a part of your normal circumstance uh, kind of slows things down for you. And for some of you who are married, then, you know, it's almost like you're putting so much energy into your children that you haven't really taken that time to put into the relationship, right? So you guys need to just create a little bit more romance. Get somebody to take care of the kids. Aunts, uncles, grandmas, you know. Taurus, let's see what's going on with you this week from the Romance Angels Oracle. Okay, attraction, that's your card. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so I feel like this is almost kind of like the law of attraction, right? What are you attracting by uh, what you are putting out there? What What's the energy that you're putting out there in the universe, right? If you put out positive energy, then you'll attract positive energy. If you see the beauty in things, then beautiful things will come to you. It's almost like how you can make yourself become more magnetic, right? It's your attraction to everything around you. Uh, the nature of things, the beauty of your environment. Yeah, it's almost kind of like a very like Taurus, Libra, Venetian, almost Empress type of energy. Virgo, Mother Nature, right? You guys go outside, see the beauty in things. This is very interesting. Gemini, let's see what's going on with you. Love yourself first, Henny. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, right? So some of you out there, Gemini, sun, moon, and rising, might be sacrificing parts of yourself um, just to sort of like pull in that love or pull in the uh, attention from other people. And it really is saying that you don't need to be focused on them. Also, some of you might be sending love where love is actually not really being uh, respected or it's not being received as well as you want it to be, Gemini. Um, this is for some of you. Remember, check that sun, moon, or rising. But it definitely means that all of you should love yourself first anyway, right? Because then when you love yourself first, you can really go no wrong after that. And other people will start to notice that as well, Gemini, okay? More meaningful. Cancer, what is your card this week? Let's see what you got going on. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so I know some Cancer Suns out there, some Cancer Risings, and maybe some Cancer Moons that this message is really good for. So give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. If there are some things that you may be dissatisfied with within your relationship or within your marriage, then there it's almost kind of like things were working at one point and then they weren't working. So what is it that makes them feel like they're not working? Where are things lacking? What do you feel like you have kind of like dropped the ball within the relationship? But where has the other person dropped the ball? Where have you both dropped the ball? You know, because obviously it's a two-way street. It's a relationship. So I think that, you know, both of you people in the Cancerian relationship should, you know, open up, 
let each other see your vulnerabilities, talk it out, see where the problem is, and fix it. Leo, what's going on with you guys this week from the Romance Angels Oracle? Okay, it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so this is talking about not letting, you know, uh, anything that might be getting in the way of your normal uh, psychological process, you know, your day-to-day, -day, you know, the, the things that might be feeling like they might be obstacles or, you know, uh, things that just may be challenging. Uh, don't let those things affect your love life, you know what I mean? Stay optimistic, as the card says. You want to see to it that, you know, you can attract certain things in by staying positive and staying optimistic, and then you'll see that you enjoy life even more, right? You might have to remind yourself a few times to do that because we have that full moon, lunar eclipse, blood moon coming up in your sign. So things may be dramatic, but just stay optimistic, you know, see the positivity in things. Virgo, let's see what your card is this week from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, Virgo, so some of you, you know, <clears throat> may be feeling like... You've just been single for a long time. You may be feeling like nothing's working out. You know, you give people a chance. You probably give more of yourself to people than you feel like you should have or should. But you still are fine with that because you feel like it was worth it because of, you know, the circumstance or the meaning behind it. What was, what was the work done for? Anyway, if it hasn't worked out with people, just know that there is someone in your future that is going to come along and they're going to make it worthwhile, right? This is for some of you who are looking for love, right? This is very specific messages for people who are, like, determined to find love in some kind of way. Uh, so, yeah, you definitely should just sit back, focus on you, do your thing. Libra. Let's see what's going on with us. Express your love. <laughs> Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It's kind of hard for us to do that, right? Although we are so influenced by love, it's hard for us to not express our love, but maybe like confess or talk or speak of it to someone or give the absolute purest truth about that love and what it means and what it might feel like. But the thing is, is that, you know, there's fear behind it because it's like the fear of rejection, right? So this card really does talk about that. I'm sure there's a card in this deck that talks about rejection or the fear of rejection. But, you know, not expressing your love might be for fear of it not being received in the way that you you are comfortable with. But then it's like you can't really determine how someone should respond to, you know, you, right? So express your love, Libra. Scorpio, what's going on with y'all this week from the Romance Oracle? Romance Angels. Forgiving and learning, honey. Wow. Okay, I knew I should have gotten this deck. Scorpio, this is great. As you release <laughs> and heal the past, <laughs> you experience more love in your present moments, right? Because it's kind of like when you hold on to things that are negative feelings, all you get out of that is negative feelings, right? You're reminded of those negative feelings. So then it's like the circle starts again. It might be just smaller cycles of that, right? It's like evolving, little tiny cycles of re reimagining that feeling. It's not like you're in it fully like you were, but every time you go there, you're reminded. So just release it, let it go. You know what I mean? Um, there's a full moon coming up in your 10th house or something like that. So this is going to be very transformative for you to just kind of learn to let go. Okay? Forgiving is forgiving yourself. Sagittarius. I'm getting warmed up now with the cards. <laughs> What's your card from the Romance Angels Oracle deck? Pay attention to the red flags. Okay? The signs are cautioning you, okay? So you guys might be feeling like some things might be too good to be true in terms of a person you might be um, involved with, you know what I mean? Uh, or somebody that you might just have a crush on, you know what I mean? You might be like, I'm seeing some things that are making my crush kind of like, you know, reinflate a little bit. It's not so crushy. 
Um, also, Jupiter is in your sign, so it's like kind of like, you know, expanding things. So some things might seem like they're too good to be true after a while, and they probably are. And at the beginning, too. But if you're getting that feeling, then like the card says, pay attention to the red flags and don't just, you know, oblige because you've already initiated things. You can definitely change course. Capricorn, a lot of energy. Okay, what's going on from the Romance Angels Oracle? Past life relationship. That's why y'all got so much stuff going on. Saturn's in your sign. Pluto's in your sign. The sun is in your sign. Mercury's in your sign. Man, you have known each other before is what this card says. And this card really does talk about, you know, feeling like you've known someone before. Just having that inkling, you know what I mean? You might even feel like you've experienced this energy before or maybe like telepathically you've experienced this person and now that you might be like in front of them, you're like, oh my God, I just feel like I've I've felt you before or I know you from some place. You could even probably do a meditation and see like if something comes up into your mind, you know, because, you know, if you're getting that feeling very strong, Cap, then I would see to it. Aquarius, y'all are living on YouTube right now. I'm gonna have to give a bonus for you guys. <gasps> Ooh, new love. That's the card you got. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Aquarius, I know a lot of you uh, you guys are out there are single because Aquarians like being single, don't they? Um, yeah, so, you know, there might be somebody coming into the picture. You know, your month is the month for Valentine's Day. So it is the month of love for you, which is ironic, right? But Aquarians want love just like everybody else. So, you know, if you see an Aquarian over there quiet in the corner, go talk to them because that might be your new boo. Um, but definitely don't be shy around people that you might have a crush on because you could just be like cock blocking yourself, you know, <laughs> Um, but definitely get out there and try to experience new people like you always do. Uh, and you might surprise yourself. Pisces, what's going on with you guys this week? From the Romance Angels Oracle. Oh, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You guys do have control issues sometimes because it's almost kind of like you know, the opposition of the two fish going into opposite directions. But then it's also kind of like one reality into the next, yeah? So it's all kind of like sort of flowing. And there's always these two realities going on at the same time. So there's a need to feel like there's an element of control that you have over a situation, right? Because there's just so much of that lucidness going on for you guys. But definitely let something play out. Don't get too emotional. Don't let your emotions control your actions, right? Because you do things that might be a little bit reckless. But definitely stop trying to fix it. 